Hey, Max, I'm trying to make a video. Okay, could you pound your pound your mold a little quieter? It's better. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> Must be doing 20 molds. Over 20 molds. <laughs> Today. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna get that joke. I know. Just <laughs> us. They'll have to watch the video. I'll put it right here. Can you find the Oreos? The ones that are in the chocolate? Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Because I guess they're in there. Yeah. But you're grabbing them from over there. In the GIF box? That's blasphemy. Hmm. And if people really like this video, they can watch last year's version, too. Oh, yeah? I haven't watched it, so I don't know what it's like. So I hope it's not exactly the same. Huh. <laughs> it's like word for word. <laughs> word for word. Except Max is in it this year, so. Well, no, I think you were you were working here last year. Um, I'm molding. Yeah. Yeah. So you just got to wait for it to temper a little bit more? It's just about ready. Do the Oreos cool down any? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Got any good dad jokes stored up while we're waiting? Mm, no. Max, do you have any? I'm trying to think. I just heard a couple. I found out last night that there is a um, Skyrim dad jokes subreddit. <laughs> what? Really can't find it. There is like, <laughs> there's a subreddit for literally anything and everything. Literally, basically. <laughs> I wish you would have told me you were putting in more Oreos. That's Oreos. the good part. I mean, you have like huge quantities of white chocolate. It looks a little bit yellow, too. Yeah. Do you notice that? Maybe because of the shadow. Mm, no, I think it just has like a slight yellow tint to How it. How does that look? Slightly tiny bit yellow. Really? Yeah. It's like, it's hmm. white chocolate, definitely. But it's like white with like a tiny hint of yellow. You know what I mean? No. You ready? Mm-hmm. You guys only ever done the this type of like the white chocolate and Oreos with this bunny before? <laughs> what was that again? Have you ever done it with any other type of bunny mold with the white Oreos? Oh, uh, no, just this one because you got to It's got to be big enough so the Oreos can fit through. Okay, so the bottom's got to be big. Yeah, yeah. The other bunnies you won't be able to fit the Oreos through. Yeah, they'll clog it right up. What about Brad the or yeah, Brad the bunny? He'd probably be able to fit, right? Mm, yeah. But I don't want to give people any ideas. Let's not get too caught. <laughs> just, just do one bunny. That's enough. Hey, I'm just asking questions here. <laughs> the people want to know. People only want one bunny. <laughs> Look at that. You got another one in you, pop. You got a bunch in there. All the bunnies. Can't believe you'd shoot that without, or do that without me shooting. Do you guys do any work when I'm not down here? No. Hmm. Just this one time? <laughs> yep. So if you didn't have the Oreos, would you have to scrape your hand every time you... No. Oh. Just, <laughs> just making sure that you're getting all the Oreo in there? Yeah, making sure it falls off my hands. Yeah.
fill those ears in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. You can actually see the uh, the Oreo in the bunny. Yeah. And mom wraps them in uh, clear stuff, right? So you can see it. That's a true story. Cl clear stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of bunnies. You got a whole terracotta army of bunnies. Yeah, terracotta. Yeah. Terry caught a lot of bunnies. Even. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the little self-satisfied smile that you had. What? I, I did not. You don't even have video evidence of that. It's true, I know. Oh, this is the exciting part. Nice big chunks. Yeah. Of Orioles and McBunnies. Mm hmm. Hand broken up. Look at that. What's your uh, best hand breaking of Oreos technique tip that you can give everybody at home when they're doing their white chocolate Oreo but bunnies? You know, probably should work out before you do it. Wait. Work out your thumbs. Yeah. I'd suggest stretching too. Yeah. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah, it's mostly in the thumbs. Oh, see, look at look at all the the thumb action going on. Wow. Voila. Do your thumbs ever get cramps? No, because I uh, lift lift weights. You properly prepare. Yeah. Oh, don't let him lie. I've seen him icing his thumbs after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Just howling in pain. One more. You doing slow motion, Dad? <laughs> no. Can you make it drop in slow motion? <laughs> Just turn the gravity down. <laughs> yeah. Can you guess what temperature this is? Ken? Uh, I'd say this is uh, 80, 88. Let's see. Oh, 90. Hmm. And white chocolate's got to get down to... Try to get it down to uh, 87. Oh, okay, so it's only three degrees. Oh, what? Can you see what it is in there? So, like, I wonder how much the Oreos cool it down. 101. Oh, wow. Yep, 101 or 99. Yeah. And the chocolate melters only go, like, I mean, they, do they go any higher than 104, or is that, like, just what you guys keep it at? I keep, I keep them about 110. And what's the highest it'll go to? Oh, it'll go higher. Yeah. Uh, but no need for it. Go 140, 150. Really? You, don't, you don't want to do that. No. To chocolate. No. Yeah, cause, uh, a lot of people. I mean, the people who watch us all the time already know this, but new people watching um, who have tried to uh, make chocolate things at home always seem to overheat their chocolate. Everybody seems to think that you gotta really really heat that chocolate right up mm. yeah, but you don't yeah the, if you just melt it that's all you need to have yeah yeah and also <laughs> you can work with it yeah and like you've said before like uh say you have like a bowl and like a double boiler or something like on the stove uh, all you would really have to do is melt it enough so that half of it's melted and then just keep stirring it around and the rest will just melt with it yep turn off the heat and just keep stirring it and let it cool down mm-hmm yeah, whether it's white chocolate, milk, dark. It's, if the chocolate's kind of hot to the touch, then you did it wrong. You better <laughs> let it cool down. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was a couple of people who commented asking, like, "How do you, uh, you know, touch the chocolate without wincing? Like, it, it's so hot." I was I like, see, everybody <laughs> thinks you gotta get it real hot. I don't yeah. Know why they think that? So it was just. Well, I remember it was just like one video. There was like a bunch of people. What I've um, heard that for years from people. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, from other people like trying to do stuff like that at home. Yeah, they come down here and told me, "Oh, how can you put your hand in there? Isn't that awful hot?" No, it's not supposed to be that <laughs> hot. Yeah, yeah, and like for people uh, using Celsius, we don't feel like googling it. Hundred degrees. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like, it's like bath bath water or like a little bit cooler yeah, than bath just, water it's kind just of temperature. Warm in the cuddle, that's all yeah, that's, that's a very scientific. <laughs> Approach. It's it's like uh, bath water, but a little cooler. 
Yeah. <laughs> 80, 90, maybe that's about it. Mm-hmm. All right, what do you think? Is it? Can you feel it getting cooler right now? Just a couple degrees? A little. It's uh, takes hard to feel with all the Orioles in it. Yeah. So what did you used to think the temperature was since you never you never had a thermometer gun before? Well I always uh well now I do it just to see what the temperature is, uh out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. But I I still will sit here and just do it all by hand. Yeah. Like even if it says it's like eighty or like ninety five or something like that, but yeah, it feels I right. I don't really need to use yeah. it. Do you do the same thing, Max, or do you use the thermometer? For what? Do you do it by feel or by thermometer? Yeah, I just do it by the feel. Yeah. Uh, when I tried doing it by the thermometer, um, it made it really aggravating. <laughs> sometimes it, you know what I mean? You would think that it was at the right temp, but it'd be too thick, or you know, you'd have the right temp and pour it, and then it wouldn't come out right. So. Mm -hmm. Comes out better when uh, you do it by the touch. Yeah. That helps to have a couple decades of experience too. A little bit. <laughs> Max, you've never done the Oreo bunnies yet, have you? Nope. So you don't have the hockey puck for this one? Just, less yeah, I'm just bunnies? using a cloth on the table, it's quieter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So why do you not use the hockey puck for this one? <laughs> Just because it's quieter. That's it? <laughs> That's all. Would it help at all to use the hockey puck still? Well, yeah. I just didn't want to hear it banging. <laughs> Mute the sound a little. Yeah. Still banging it on the table. Mm -hmm. What's the table made of? The galvanized... Uh, Steel or what kind of metal is it? Uh, it's um, uh, I forget now. It's been on here so long. <laughs> is it just a wood table underneath? Yeah. Yeah. Shh. Don't ever know our trade secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if someone was doing this at home, then using a cloth on the table, if you got molds anyway, sure. would be really helpful, especially if you don't want your parents uh, yelling at you for... <laughs> no matter how old you are, your parents will just come over and yell at you. Come on, if they were like, what are you doing making all that noise? And they came down and you were like, I'm making chocolate. They'd probably be like, well, okay. we'll let it slide. Uh, can you stop doing it at 4.30 in the morning? <laughs> as long as we get some. And whenever um, Dad would come up and Kara was making dessert, um, he would always be like, what, well, am I going to get any? And most of the time she was just making it for her co-workers at Trader yeah, Joe's. we never get any. Yeah. Making it for her co-workers. Oh, come on, you guys are specialists. You should have gone on strike. Dad on strike. Boy. See where I write. Hmm? See where I write. Your I write? See where I write. He's irate. <laughs> No, he's telling you. Is your irate face? Oh, I just realized these are number 40 bunnies. Yes, they are. I bet you wouldn't be able to know how I figured that out, huh? <laughs> I don't know. You're a genius. Yeah, I know. That's what I meant. Yep. That's, that's how I figured it out. So you're going to do another muck? Bomb. <laughs> Here. Uh, yeah, at some point. The viewers really seem to like them. How did the last one work out? Pretty good? Yeah, people really like them. I call them muck though, because that's what you call them. <laughs> no, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know your hat sideways-ish? Yeah, I know. Here, you want me to get it? Want to tilt your keeps, head back? keeps going that way all the time. <laughs> 
There you go. Mm. <laughs> Good luck for you. All right, sorry. I didn't get it quite right. Here. There you hey, go. You messed up my hair. Oh, you got having a bad hair day? Oh, no. <laughs> Makeup, makeup. You got any good candy wraps for us? I bet it's gonna start with yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, any good wraps for us, Dad? No. None? I'm not good at it. Oh, okay. Mom's gotta go to it in her pocket. And Karen, too. Karen? Yeah. Karen, she'd be a good rapper. Yeah, she'd be a good rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a really big puddle, too. Yeah. Want to be able to do more than one bunny at a time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to get that hand motion in, in the video. Watch him how he picks oh. up the chocolate. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, well. <laughs> it's tapping time now, so... It's okay. We'll come back to it. You still got the rest of the money to fill up. No, I, I let it... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I let it solidify and then I fill in the rest of it later. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Take it a nice finish. Is it normal to have that much chocolate like kind of on the side? Between? No, it, uh, when I was turning my hand over, I just didn't do it quick enough. And oh, okay. You mean like this? Oh, no, right like here? it's like in there. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't pointing the camera at it, but when it's in there, there's like a lot on the side that is not going to go in the mold. Uh, well, we were actually talking about it. Some of these are not um, as well clipped as they could be. Even if this did have the extra clip in there, like it's gonna follow the line from the, mm -hmm. you know, where the clip starts. But well, it's gonna fill in there anyway, unless you have a really long clip. Yeah. And then that Do you guys just not have many of those? Many of those what? Long clips. Well, we don't have any. I thought you guys had some of them. Oh. Any bubbles on your side? Hmm. Just this one. Just, just one. Kidding. You turn it around and it'll go away. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I make them spit on their heads over here. Oh, this is the moment of truth. Yeah, Max has this. Uh, eat it. Look, look at his wrist right now. Look at it. Like he just does that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the limp wrist. Yeah, in the chocolate. Did you see it, Dad? I'm sure he'll do it again. <laughs> That? One more time. Nope. This. When you're about to do. This one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting it into a pile that bit? Or what? Yeah, your wrist. Oh, it's all on the wrist. I guess so. Got a lot of good wrist motion you're going like, on. Look at your wrist, and I'm like... Oh, no, not you. I was talking about Dad. Dad's got to look at your wrist. Do you do that, Dad? He couldn't do that if he tried. Whoa, them's fighting words. Max is the best. The best of messing up. <laughs> yeah, Dad learned from Max. Everything he knows <laughs> from Max. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Yeah. It's kind of cool seeing all the air bubbles pop, though. Yeah. You gotta spin it around. Just don't drop it. It's happened. <laughs> yeah. It's happened. I was gonna say one last bubble and then they keep popping up. Yep. Is that what you always think? That's how it always goes, yeah. <laughs> yep. Sit here tapping a mold for like 20 minutes because they just keep coming. Mm -hmm. Look at all the old funny. Hmm. What are you having? Back to dad. I'm gonna pet the chocolate like Max. Can you do a Max impersonation? <laughs> <laughs> no. Man, 
Max, what are you doing? <laughs> he said, don't eat the berries. <laughs> So, Craig, have you seen Malibu's Most Wanted? Yeah, a long time ago. Uh, well, do you remember when he's in the car? And he's, like, trying to come up with a song? Yeah, with a rap, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just been playing in my head since you were like, got any raps for us? <laughs> what? How'd you fix your hat? I didn't. Huh. What are you talking about? Huh. It's weird. Huh. Better watch it. <laughs> Punk kid. <laughs> That's a good Max impression. Hey, it's 86, Dad. Better get going. It is? Yep, even when I get really close. Wow. Hey, wait till corporate finds hey, out that you were lollygagging. All right. A lot of Oreos in the bottom. Sure is. Four Oreos. Oh, jeez, Dad. It's dripping. Look at that. <laughs> the Oreo bunny. Yeah. It's here. It's here. See all those spots? Are there always a bunch of... Oh, yeah, because you can see the Oreo. That's what you yeah. mean. Yeah. Mm hmm And the bottom. Yeah. Tell me if I'm going too fast. <laughs> okay, now we're going to bow tie it. We'll put this pretty ball on. Yeah. Isn't this pretty? The prettiest. So we cut it. I just got to make sure not to tie it too tight. Not too tight on this because I'll show you what happened. You want to see what happened? Mm hmm. I got to be more gentle with this. It's so hard to do with. I got to flip that around. This doesn't look right. Wait, I got to flip it. There. There we go. It's so hard with this. Now, what happened? Oh, geez, Karen. I tied this too tight. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? Glue it. Yeah. White Elmer's chocolate. glue? No, white chocolate. <laughs> I tied it too tight. Yeah. So, all this is is gets a bow. Goes in a 702 bag. Like that. Then I take this hot iron. How hot is it? Hot. And seal it. Cut this off. Now I can take my glove off because mm -hmm. it's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you checking with me? <laughs> yeah, I'll get you in trouble. And it gets a special label that says cookies and cream. And I'm going to weigh it. 
fuck in. Nine ounces. And you put a nine. Take this. And it goes on the back. And that's your Oreo bunny. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. Over. And that one's got to go down to the Cookie it down to like a chocolate hospital part. There it is. Max will fix it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that good enough? Good enough.